Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm cooking at home and we're making one hour cinnamon rolls in your Instant Pot. Yeah. So my name is Kristen and every Sunday my sisters and I like to share an Instant Pot recipe with you, but it's a little bit different this month because of all the social distancing I am filming in my kitchen by myself with lots of little helpers. So today I'm making one hour cinnamon rolls that you proof in your Instant Pot and they are amazing. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and of course push that bell so you don't miss any of the videos that we upload. All right. If you guys are ready, let's get cooking. So right now I'm using a Bosch mixer and you can use any mixer that you have that will mix bread pretty well. So I'm gonna add one and three fourths cup of warm water to the bottom of the mixer. Next, then I'm gonna just dump in six tablespoons of white sugar and then one fourth cup of oil. Then just go ahead and mix that up just a little bit. Now into the mixer, you're gonna add three tablespoons of dry active yeast. And then mix it up just a little bit. Now you're just gonna cover it and let it sit for about 15 minutes or so. Now when the timer's done, I went ahead and took off my lid and it should be all nice and bubbly. Good, yeast is working. So now we're gonna add about two cups or so of white flour. I'm just <laughs> guessing right now. I did measure out how many cups I will need. Then just go ahead and mix that together. So while that is mixing, you're gonna add about a teaspoon of salt. and then you're gonna add two eggs. Now let that continue to mix while you add your eggs. Now you're just going to mix it until it's well combined and your eggs are mixed in pretty well. Now you're gonna slowly add about three more cups of flour. And again, I did have this all measured out, so five cups total. Now the thing I love about my Bosch mixer is that it does all the work for me. I don't have to do much. Now you can make this by kneading it. It is a little bit harder and really sticky, but using a bread mixer or a Bosch or even a KitchenAid works awesome. So it's still a little sticky, so I'm gonna add about a half cup of flour just to make it so it has a good texture and just not so sticky. Then go ahead and just mix in that flour. All right, so once it's done, go ahead and push down the sides, get the rest of that flour. You don't wanna waste anything, but I just like to push it down and then mix it in a little bit. Now it's time to get the Instant Pot ready. So I'm going to spray the pot with some nonstick cooking spray. Then go ahead and just dump your dough right into the bottom of the Instant Pot. Now this is a little stickier than I'd like it. I probably would add another fourth to a half a cup of flour, but that's all right, it will still work just fine. Now if you have a glass lid, you can use that to put on top of your Instant Pot, or I just like to use a plate that I have. That will, either one will work. So you're gonna push the yogurt button. Now this only proofs for 15 minutes, but it sets for 30. So I have to set a timer on a different device for about 15 minutes, just so I will know when 15 minutes is up. Okay, once your 15 minutes is over, go ahead and take the plate off. Your dough is just nice and beautiful. Again, a little sticky, but that's okay. We'll get a little bit of flour and it will be just fine. All right, so you're gonna take your dough. I got a little bit more flour, just mixed it up just a little bit because I wanted it just the right texture. Then you're gonna go ahead and just cut your dough right in half so we can <laughs> make it a little bit easier to roll out our cinnamon rolls. So next you're gonna grab your favorite rolling pin or anything that's round that can help you roll it out will work just fine. And you're gonna roll out your dough. Now I like my dough to be a little bit more rectangular shape so I don't have to waste a ton of dough. Then just continue to roll until it's about, I don't know, 
a fourth of an inch thick. You can even go a half an inch if you want, if you want really thick cinnamon rolls, but about a fourth of an inch. So I melted about a half a cup of butter in the microwave, and now I'm just going to gently put it on the dough. Now, you don't have to add butter for this step. You can actually just add just the sugar, but I love the, oh, I just love butter. So I love the taste that the butter gives it. Next, I have a cup of brown sugar and about three to four teaspoons of cinnamon that I just mixed all together. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that on, just the butter and the dough, and oh, it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> Then I just like to spread it around really well so every bite you'll have some cinnamon and sugar in it. Now it's time for my favorite part, to roll the dough into the cinnamon rolls. So go ahead and just gently roll. The tighter that you get your cinnamon rolls, the better they will be. If, you, if they're really loose, they'll just kind of fall apart as they cook. So try and get as tight as you can. Now, if you notice, I have a little scraper next to me. If you need a scraper to kind of help you scrape it up, you can do that too. If you don't have a scraper, you could use any type of spatula and that will work just fine also. All right, once it's pretty much all done being rolled, now it's time to cut off the ends. So I take a piece of floss or string or whatever you have will work, but floss works for me and I cut off the ends. Now I still save these and cook them because I will still eat it. So cut off both ends just to make your cinnamon rolls look nice and pretty and pretty even. Next I just make spots where I'm going to cut it. So I'm making eight rolls out of this roll. So I kind of did, I cut it in half with my floss and then half again and then half again so I can get eight rolls out of it. All right, so next I just greased a cookie sheet just because I do not want them to stick. No one likes a burnt on cinnamon roll on the bottom. So grease your cookie sheet and then just gently put them on. Now I like to flatten them just a little bit before I put them on just so they will cook pretty evenly. So go ahead and do this to all of the cinnamon rolls. Now if you don't forget about the other dough that you have, I went, went ahead and made cinnamon rolls out of those too, but right now I'm just gonna show you just the one roll so you don't have to watch me do it twice. All right, they are all ready to put into the oven. Now before I started, I did preheat my oven to 400 degrees because you want your oven hot as you're cooking. So you're gonna cook them for about 10 to 12 minutes. Make sure you watch them because no one likes burned cinnamon rolls. All right, when they're all done, go ahead and take them out. Now I did have a lot of help making my mom's cream cheese frosting. I'll put a link in the description for that recipe. But for now, you can use any type of frosting you want. I like cream cheese. If you like a vanilla, you could even do a delicious chocolate and it would taste amazing. I also like to frost my cinnamon rolls when they're warm so the frosting will just melt just a little bit. Oh, you guys are going to love this recipe. All right, I'm gonna taste it because this is one thing I'm not saying no to. Cool. That's really good. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me. Now, if you're new to the Instant Pot and you want some easy Instant Pot recipes, go ahead and click that link right there. It's my top 10 Instant Pot recipes, perfect for beginners. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.